Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create a skybox for Unity by using Blender. So first thing I'm gonna do is open Blender. I'm gonna use the general layout. And for the cube, I'm just gonna rename it Cloud and add a subdivision modifier. I will shade it smooth and add a cloud material to it. So I'll just call this Cloud Matte and I want it to be white, but also have some emission to it. So I'll do that. And now if I go to the rendered view, it is going to be white, and that is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna make this look a little bit more like a cloud, and I will duplicate these, and I'm just gonna get more of a general cloud shape here. And I think that looks fine for a simple little cloud. Now I just want to create multiple of them. So I'm just going to duplicate my clouds a few times. And I have, I'm just gonna duplicate them one more time. There we go, I have 64 clouds in the scene. And I want to randomize the location, scale, and rotation of all of them. So to do that, I'm just gonna go to Object, Transform, Randomize Transform, and I want it between 100 for randomization on all the axes. Then for rotation, I just want random rotation along the Z axis. And for scale, I'm gonna say scale evenly, but randomize it so it's between, say like one and five or something like that or five and negative five, I guess is what it would be. Some of these are upside down, but that's fine. And I think that this looks okay for cloud distribution. Now I do want to make the sky blue, so I'll go to the world properties and under color, I'll just increase this and set it to a blue color. And that looks okay. And I will select the light that was also in the scene and I want to change this just to be like a sun, and that looks okay. I wanna make it a little warmer, so I'm gonna change this to like a red sort of color. That looks okay. And I'm just gonna save the Blender file just in case. I don't wanna lose any progress if the app crashes. So now I'm gonna to go to Render and change my Render Engine to Cycles, and that's why I saved. Let's bring that back up. So I'm gonna go back into render and change it to cycles and GPU compute. Let's see, still working, that's good. And we're doing this so that our camera will have the proper settings. So now I'm gonna select my camera, go to type and change it to panoramic. And if I hit zero, this is what the camera sees and what our final render will look like if we weren't gonna change anything else. I do wanna change it because I don't want these black edges that will make the skybox look weird. So we're gonna go here to panorama type and choose equa rectangular. Now you won't have this setting unless you change the render type to cycles for the render engine. So if you don't see these settings, make sure this is set and the next thing I want to do is make sure my camera is the correct aspect ratio. I'm also, I also increased my uh, end clip to include more clouds because before it was at 100. So I'm just going to set it to 250 to make sure all the clouds are there. Um, but we need to uh, set this resolution here for X and Y under the scene tab. So for that, I'm going to say X is 2048 and Y is 1024. I believe that is the resolution I want. And now I'm just going to hit F12 to render the scene. And here is the final image. And I want to go ahead and save as, and I want to change the file format from PNG to Radiance HDR. And I'm just going to call this clouds.hdr and save as image. And then this should be all you need to do in Blender. So I'm just gonna minimize those and I'm going to create a new Unity project. 
and I'm just going to use my default settings here and I will call this project skybox tutorial and I'll hit create. All right, now I am in Unity. This is what my default Unity scene looks like. So this button toggles the skybox in case any of you have that issue. So right now it's just using the default Unity skybox, which is fine, but we can add our own. So let's go to my project tab and in assets, I'm just gonna create a folder called textures. And now I just want to drag my clouds.hdr file into my textures folder. So I'll do that. And now I have clouds here and I'm gonna right click, go to create folder and I'll just name it skyboxes. Go in here, create material. I'll call this clouds. And I wanna change this shader from standard to skybox. And I'm gonna choose panoramic because that's what we created. And now I just need to select our texture. So I'll click there and select clouds. And you can already see down here, we got something that looks interesting. So now we have that. And let's go into our lighting tab. If you don't have that, go to Windows, Rendering, Lighting. And I'm gonna choose Environment and change our Skybox material to our Clouds one. And now you can see that it is using our Skybox from Blender. However, there are some weird artifacts and a weird seam happening in the middle of the Skybox. So to fix that, let's go back to our Textures and select clouds. I'm gonna go back to our inspector tab. And to get rid of this seam, I'm going to actually turn off generate mit maps. And when I apply that, you can see that seam goes away. And now that I'm looking at the actual texture, I think in Blender, I may have the sun value too high. So I'm actually gonna go in here and re-render it. So I'm gonna choose my light. I'm just gonna reduce the strength of this and let's go ahead and just re-render and I'm just gonna save over my previous HDR make sure the file format is radiance HDR save as image and I'm just gonna delete these clouds and replace it with the new one so let's see if that looks better that does look a little bit better uh, there is still some artifacting around the clouds but that can be fixed by just setting compression to none. And now you have your own skybox. And if I were to add a sphere, and I just want to make a shiny reflective material, so I'll just go to material, apply that, and I wanna increase my metallicness and smoothness. And you can see it reflects the skybox, which is pretty neat, and just a vet adjusting these values adjusts how much it reflects. So I hope this video helped you out in some way, shape, or form. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see me do something else, leave a comment down below. Feel free to subscribe, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.